Hi guys, today we're going to make a delicious fresh kumquat dessert. It's a kumquat cylinder with a Miscovado sugar ice cream, caramelized white chocolate, and a kumquat and vodka cocktail. So, let's begin. First, we're going to make the kumquat vodka. For that, transfer 500 grams of kumquats into a preserving jar. Now cover this completely with vodka. Then cover the jar and let it marinate at room temperature for three weeks. So three weeks have passed and I just put on a new batch as well. And just to show you the difference, this one is the new batch. It's totally clear and this one, that's the one that has been marinating for three weeks. And as you can see, it turned a little bit orange yellow. It contains a lot of the oils of the, the skin of the kumquat. Uh, I just tasted it and it's super flavorful and it's really, really nice. So we're going to drain it and then we're going to use it to cook the apples. Keep the flavored vodka for later and transfer the kumquats into a blender. Then cut a vanilla pot in half and scrape out the seeds. Add them to the kumquats together with 50 grams of sugar. Blend this till smooth. Once it's smooth, pass it through a fine sieve and use a ladle to make it a bit easier. Then transfer 80 grams of cane sugar into a saucepan together with 30 grams of water. Heat this up for two minutes. Then pour it into a round shaped mold and set aside for later. Then set up your Japanese slicer. I'll link it in the description. Now put one apple on the slicer. Then turn on the KitchenAid and slice the apple in a long thin slice. In total you need to do this with four apples. Then lay the slices on your worktop and brush a thin layer of the kumquat pulp on the apple. Now roll it up. You need two apple slices to make one big roll. Then trim the sides and cut the rolls in half. Now place them with the pretty side down in the mold and cover it with a silicon sheet. Now cook them at 150 degrees Celsius for around 30 to 35 minutes. After that remove the sheet and bake them for 30 more minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Once cooked let them cool down completely in your fridge. Then gently remove them from the side and turn the mold around so the apple falls out. Now cut them gently in half and keep them in your fridge for later. Now for the Miscovado ice cream. First pour 500 grams of milk in a pan. Also add 500 grams of cream, 200 grams of Miscovado sugar and 30 grams of skimmed milk powder. Mix this well and then bring it to a boil. Meanwhile transfer 90 grams of egg yolk in a bowl. Then while stirring add the boiling liquid to the yolks and pour it back into the pan. Now while stirring, cook it till it's 85 degrees Celsius. Once the ice cream is cooked, pass it through a fine sieve. Then cover it with foil and let it set in your fridge for at least 6 hours. I always leave it overnight. Now mix it for 15 seconds and then pour it into an ice cream machine. Turn it into a beautiful ice cream. With this machine, this takes around 10 minutes. Then take the ice cream out of the machine and let it set for 30 more minutes in your freezer. Now for the white chocolate crumble. Transfer 150 grams of white chocolate on a silicon sheet and spread it. Then bake it at 150 degrees Celsius for around 20 minutes. Once it's baked, let it cool down completely and then transfer it into a bowl. Now use the back of a spoon to break the chocolate into a fine crumble. Keep it covered for later. Then we only need to finish the kumquat vodka. For that add a knife tip of santan powder and mix it to bind the broth. Then give it a little taste and when you think it's necessary add some icing sugar to balance the flavor. Give it another taste and then keep it in your fridge for later. Then we can start to finish the dish. First place the kumquat cylinder on a plate and add a tablespoon of the crumble on the other side. Now make a nice canal of the Miscovado ice cream and place it on the crumble. Then the dish is ready to be served and you can finish it off with the cold kumquat and vodka broth.
Okay guys, that's it for today. Um, I'm just gonna dig in because it's bloody hot outside and the ice cream is already almost melted. Um, let's start with the apple and the kumquat because yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's almost see-through because all the, the, the sugars have come feed the apple. Mm. Mm. It tastes completely like kumquat, but the texture is still apple. Um, I think that's a really cool combination. And then in combination with the ice cream, I think it's gonna be very good because the apple and the kumquat is quite sweet and the ice cream is more rich and less sweet. Yeah, that's really good. Because the apple still has some texture and then the crumble of the white chocolate, of the caramelized white chocolate, that also adds a lot of texture and the broth just gives it that fresh and very delicious note. So overall, super happy with the dessert. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing dishes like this and other great recipes. And as always, bon appetit!